Hello, Herman here with a new episode in the Aruba Instant series. And in this episode, we will be upgrading our Aruba Instant cluster. So first, if you want to have real training, uh, it is available on the Aruba website and on the Airheads community. So follow the links on screen. So in last episode, we created a cluster. So I had one AP and I just dropped in two other APs and uh, yeah, they found the first AP and uh, they got the firmware and got the configuration. And now we have a cluster of three APs. Very simple, very easy, very effective. Another thing is that we have seen in the previous video that there is a new version available. And here under the maintenance, this is where we have the firmware version. And here under firmware, we can do upgrades. There are two ways that we can do upgrades. So first is that we can just check here for a new version and it will bring us the latest uh, stable release. So in most cases, it's uh, safe and uh, good to do an upgrade there. You just press the button here and it will do an upgrade. Here's a second way of upgrading and uh, in that second way we can download the firmware from the Aruba support website so let's try to do that so you need to have a login to the Aruba website uh, so support.arubanetworks.com and uh, if you are logged in you can do here download software and if you go under download software you go here to Aruba instant then you have two releases uh, the so-called standard release uh, which is uh, the default release and the conservative release uh, which is a version uh, that has been out for quite some time uh, so it's considered very stable so let's go to the latest conservative release uh, for now so um, that's uh, this one then you can see there is firmware uh, there are multiple firmware files and it is for different uh, architectures so if you have different APs there's different firmware um, that's also if you want to upgrade multiple firmwares in a cluster um, if you cluster them together if they are the same version already uh, they can cluster together um, and if you uh, want to add a cluster, uh, an access point from another architecture, so for example, a 225 to the cluster, uh, you first need to upgrade it to the same version as your running cluster, and then you can add it. And after that, uh, you can upgrade with uh, multiple firmware. So we have an AP325, so we need to download this uh, firmware release. So let's get it. And while it downloads, uh, let's go here back to our Aruba instance AP. Uh, we do uh, browse here. So let's go to our downloads. And here is my firmware. And we just press here in the upgrade now. So there is a warning the APs will reboot. And that yeah, means that the service might be uh, interrupted. Oh, it will be interrupted. So it's uploading the firmware and after it's uploaded, it will be upgrading. And this again will probably take uh, five to 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, that will be about the outage, probably less than 10 minutes. So let's fast forward and see how the upgrade is running. So we can see the image upgrade, at least on the master was successful. And you can see the APs are rebooting now. So this is the moment uh, yeah, that we lost our wireless connectivity. And um, yeah, let's skip forward till the APs are back on the new version. So you can see now it prompts that the APs have successfully rebooted. We can log in again to the system. So either we can go to the IP here or we can go to the virtual controller IP. So oh, let's go there. So which was the 10.5 and the virtual controller IP will always move with the active uh, virtual controller. And if an AP fails, it will 
uh, just move to the other AP. So you have yeah built-in redundancy. So I see just my virtual controller master now is uh, up again. And uh, I would expect the other APs uh, pretty quickly. And uh, the whole process um, yeah, till now is, uh, is taking about five minutes. So probably the complete upgrade will take less than 10 minutes. So let's wait for the other two APs to join the cluster. So this is the complete cluster up and running again in, uh, yeah, about six minutes. So let's see here under maintenance. Uh, you can see now we are running the new version. Uh, by the way, when upgrading uh, the previous version, so the 6.5.2.1 release that we were running before, is now stored in a backup partition. And we'll have a session later on how you can factory reset the AP. But if you factory reset the AP uh, by using the reset button on the AP, uh, it will revert back to that previous version. So if there is any issue with this version, uh, you can easily reset the APs and go back to the old known good release. So that's another security measure. So in this episode, we upgraded the complete cluster of three AP325 to a new release that we downloaded from the Aruba website. So... I, that's it for now, and uh, I hope you like this video. If so, please let us know, press the like button, and put your comments below this video. And please also subscribe to our channel, so you will be notified for new videos. Thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you again in a new video.